Good day, sir and classmates. So for today, we were going to discuss about the Creative Student Sample Project using open-ended tools. So, I am Eric Jan El Miranda, your reporter. So, what is an open-ended tool? So, open-endedness or open-ended tasks have more than one right answer solution or outcome and can be completed in more than one way. So, they can take the form of statement, questions, task, project, or teaching method. So, different learner may use different type of thinking. So, and there are no predetermined uh, correct outcomes. So, open-ended learning activities are provocative and stimulate divergent thinking about the topic. Teacher's attitude, assessment, criteria, and procedure must also encourage student to take different paths and offer creative responses, unique contribution are welcome. So, Simaker and Stieber identified these advantages of open question. So, they encourage many students to give responses. So, they encourage students to student interaction patterns. So, elicit more complete and more complex responses. Allow students to give knowledgeable answer. So, encourage students to question themselves, their classmates, and their teachers. So, stimulate further truth, truth and exploration. So, open-ended activities work well in mixed ability classroom because they have low floors and high ceiling. So, this means they require minimal background knowledge and also have high or no limits on the knowledge and skills participants might use and learner. Kumbaga, um, we have a, ano, may roon tayong malawak na pag-iisip upang makaparticipate and meron din tayong um, uh, malawak na kaalaman at pwede nating ma-restock at our mind. So, let's proceed. So, like these examples. So, these sections provides a variety of examples and resources. So, for developing open-ended learning experiences, it begins with samples of different size from a social studies unit of, on Asia. So, the first step is small question. So, the second are larger activities. And the last is a project. So, assessment rate area and procedures are provided for each show. So, we all know that to the next this is we have a three types of table. Kumbaga, makikita natin yung sa about sa pag questions, activities, and projects. So, like the, uh, well, like, uh, isipin na natin na kayo, tayo yung teacher. So, we give to the student the small questions. Kumbaga, five, ano lang, five um, questions na kaya nilang sagutan. And also, pag na, ano nila, we were going to the activities, kumbaga, doon makikita na natin kung kung saan talaga naabot ang kanilang kaalaman and also the projects, yung outcome nila. So, let's proceed to the tables kung, kung saan nakakapaloob to. So, sa table 1, um, open-ended questions and assessment criteria. Yeah. So, dito, we have two columns. So, questions and criteria for teacher's feedback. So, under the question, we have three questions also. So, may ka-ano siya. Okay? So, let, let me read the questions first. So, question number one. So, what impact do Asian countries have on our daily lives? So, under the criteria for teachers and feedback, we have fluency or number of ideas. So, scope of ideas or uh, imports, immigration, culture, and etc. So, number two questions is, what impact does the United States have on the lives of people in Asia countries? So, under the great area for teachers' feedback, we have same as above. So, same lang sila sa taas. And the last, na last question is, in what ways do 
you think your life is different from from or the same as the life of the boy or girl your age in Tokyo. So under ng great area for teachers and feedback, we have scope or hobbies, transportations, recreations, religion, sports, etc. and depth. So sa table 2, uh, sa table 2, ito naman yung open-ended activity with assessment create area. So dito naman yung activity. Yung una, yung questions. Like may 3 questions. Dito naman yung pangalawang table have dalawang activity. Ay one activity pala, I mean, sorry. So, the ang activity is decide a mini poster about the five location in Atla in Asia, so that you find most fascinating. So, use rich colorful language to describe each one, and a sentence so other order will share your class, your fascination. So, under ng create area for evaluations and who will apply them, ang sabi, richness of vocabulary. So, siyempre, hingin yung, ano, yung, um, ginagamit mong mayaman ng mga vocabulary. So, like, kasi, sabi ay, you uh, use colorful language. So, the next is interest. Yung interest, siyempre. And also, the last one is the accuracy of names and location. So, those are, um, scored by a teacher on a five-point scale. So, sa table number three, it is an open-ended project with assessment rate area. So, uh, uh, the same with table number two, they have two columns, the uh, projects and the rate area for evaluation and who, and who will apply them. So, sabi sa project, supply of a country, a study of the country rather. So, prepare a presentation and materials to recruit new immigrants to an Asian country of your choice. So, include information on the culture, economy, history, population, climate, and ge geography, and more. So, under the great area for evaluation and who will apply them, yung effectiveness. Effectiveness, a plane tickets for peers evaluation. So, no way, one way, and found round trip. So, the next is originality. So, teacher judgment on a five-point scale. And lastly, the effort. So, effort self-evaluation on five-point scale. So, yun po yung ta, three, three tables that indicated the questions about the activities and also about the projects. So, the next uh, slide. So, open-endedness during classroom discussions. So, despite a teacher's best effort to stimulate open higher level thinking during teacher-led classroom, so discussions, students often respond to questions posed by teacher as if there is one right answer. So, there are alternatives to teacher's questions. So, a teacher use of specific statements and silence as well as carefully, carefully constructed questions from peers or are options. So, according to Dillion, si Dillion has proposed seven effective alternatives to direct questioning. So, when the purpose of the discussion is to explore ideas and prompt higher level thinking. So, the number one is the declarative statement. Re number two, reflective statement. statement. So, number three, declar declaration of perplexity. And number three, I number four, Four, invitation to elaborate. Five, class questions. Six, speakers question. And the last, the number seven is deliberate silence. So, student can learn to use these techniques too. So, yeah. So, let's ne so next. So, open-ended teaching, teaching method. So, problem-based learning and Socratic seminars are two instructional methods. So that provides students to an open-ended learning experience. Research for problem-based learning can be found in the examples and collection of resources provided for inquiry-based learning. So Socratic seminars are a form of a whole class discussion. 
So based on Socrates' theory that it is more important to enable students to think for themselves than to merely fill their he heads with right. So right answer. So prior to the seminar or discussion, the students example a text guide by prompts from the teachers. So the text may be novel, political, cartoon, artwork, poem, and etc. So during the discussion, so the 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 discussions uh, the teachers offers the few well crafted open ended questions so that provoke students to think critically analyze multiple meanings and text so and express ideas with clarity and confidence so so a follow up activity enables students to synchronize to synthesize what they learn from their preparation and seminar experience so so ball and brewer so provide extensive resources and their materials so let's proceed to the how do you open and the tools can improve the teaching and learning process so paano nga ba ma improve ang 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 teaching at the learning process so Sabi, using collaborative open and teaching learning resources to represent a switch to a learner-centered method and gives students a, a chance to interact and explore concept and content with their colleagues as well as with a professor and tutor. So, we're gonna give the student a, a chance to, to interact with us or participate uh, to, the, uh, to the group. Or, or to their classmates. So the next one is how do open ended tools help students in culture and arts education or in language learning? So sabe so open ended questions are the effective way to challenge your students and learn more about how they think. So they encourage extended responses and allow your students to reason think and reflect so uh, as a culture and arts educator we need to encourage them to study about the culture about the arts and craft here in our country so sila uh, doon pa lang once nalalaman nila yon they can reflect and think why we need to study this why we need to know this about this country bakit mahalaga nga talaga pangalagaan ng culture so, sa kanila pa lang, matututo na sila. So, what we need to encourage them in career as a future teacher of culture in arts education. So, the next one is, or the last one is, open-ended questions encourage a child to develop language by using different words and wider range of vocabulary to answer the question, provide more information and details, so express their thoughts, ideas, and opinions. So, also, be creative. Develop positive relationships by engaging in meaningful conversation. So that's all po. And thank you so much for listening and watching for this video, sir. And have a blessed day. Thank you so much.